Everything we do is free to our clientele. And um, we don't screen for anything, mm -hmm. meaning there's no income qualification, there's no age qualification, there's whoever comes in the door mm -hmm. and wants to participate or take advantage of the services we have is welcome to do so. Hello and welcome to Kept in Her Heart, where we talk about all things faith-related. I'm your host, Jenny Fuchs. Today, Gina Kennedy joins us from Lex Specialty Clinic and the Pregnancy Resource Center of Cambridge to tell us about the great work that they are doing, helping women with unexpected, unplanned pregnancies find the help they need. Welcome, Gina. Thank you. So can you tell us a little bit about your clinic and what it does? Well, we're a Pregnancy Resource Center, essentially but we also provide medical services. And we began about 38 years ago uh, as an organization in Cambridge and founded by Mr. Bob Lex. And that's where the name for Lex Specialty Clinic has come from. And when we added medical services in 2008, we added the clinic name as well. And we now have two locations in Cambridge and East Bethel. We provide the same services at both locations. So the medical services, including pregnancy testing, ultrasound confirmation, STI testing and treatment, nurse education, and then we also provide ongoing parenting education and follow along, that goes quite a ways. Uh, we have curriculum up to about the age of eight to 10. And we do have some clients that stay with us for a very long time, depending on their need. Sure. We provide material assistance through that program so they earn points for their education pieces and spend them in our baby store on items they may need for their children. And then we provide free services as well. It, I mean, all of our services are free, but I mean free items. So if someone is in need, they can step in and get diapers or wipes or formula or baby food. Um, they don't need to be in a program and we just want, really wanna help the community. So we do get those referrals from some of those community agencies okay. who have clientele that need that help as well. And our hope is to expand those services and include more medical help, such as early free prenatal care. That's our big goal. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Yeah, so about how many clients do you serve? So we see about 500 client visits a year between the two locations. And that's going to include probably about 150-ish ultrasounds, pregnancy tests, et cetera, for unique users. And then um, repeat visits throughout the year from those who are working with long-term and ongoing. Sure, tell me about the points program. I've, I've heard of this and this is really, I think, a great system. Yeah, it's called Earn While You Learn. And so that program is for anyone who's pregnant, um, planning to parent or planning to place for adoption as well. We'll work with them throughout the pregnancy because they still need to be pregnant and deliver a baby. And that program really helps educate in the early portion of um, their time with us, pregnancy and delivery, uh, all about being pregnant, what's going on, our nurses visit with them at least each trimester, and then uh, postpartum. And also we have a um, child, childbirth education piece that our clients tell us is actually better than what the hospital's offering these days. So we like that. And we um, then carry on with those who are gonna parent. And that's who enters the Earn While You Learn program. During pregnancy, they earn points as well, mm -hmm. can start amassing items they may need. For those planning an adoption, they would earn gift cards instead so they can get some things for themselves. We wanna shower them too with just fun things. Yeah. And then in the parenting piece, they continue on everything from infant care up to, you know, through the toddler years and into young childhood and adding siblings and all kinds of things because it's not always their first child. Yeah. yeah. So it goes quite a ways, adds a lot to support them through uh, either creating a family for the first time or adding to a family. Okay. Um, what options or what add-ons do you have to get the dads involved? So we have a fathering program and we have male advocates. So we have, of course, our female staff and female advocates on hand to work with moms. But we also have trained volunteer male advocates who come in and work with the dads as well. 
So mom and dad can work together in the program. Mm -hmm. We encourage from the very first phone call that dad's involved and comes with to the appointments. And then we try to hook him up with a male advocate so that he also is getting a particular fathering curriculum that we have to really encourage that fathering aspect and the importance of the father in the child's life. And then we encourage that no matter what happens with the relationship, because sometimes those relationships don't withstand the pregnancy or whatever's going on. And our goal is to encourage that mom and dad that the child needs them both and to work together for the sake of the child and learn parenting. So it's all very positive. And of course, we're working to try and help them become a family Mm -hmm. and to see the value of becoming a family and the value of marriage and the value of all the things that are important um, to raise a child. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. So we also want to support them to parent well. That's excellent. Yeah, Yeah. definitely needed in this day and age. It really is. And the fathering support we find is super important because most of the dads today um, don't have a role model. Mm -hmm. They, for whatever reason, a variety of reasons, but they don't have a good role model. Mm -hmm. And so meeting with a male advocate who's willing to come in and be that to them, Mm -hmm. our advocates really invest in the lives of the clients they meet with the same advocate throughout their time with us whenever possible we try not to make changes we want them to develop that mentorship and relationship so that's really important to the dads as well excellent Mm -hmm. and and of course we're not saying that the dad has to be involved in order for the the, the client to get help nor does the mom we have fathers that work with us as well that are working to get custody or have just gotten custody or partial custody Uh, depending uh, of a child Mm -hmm. and even parenting and co-parenting a new infant and so we're seeing that more Mm -hmm. and so we'll work with the dads as well just to help them achieve their own goals even if mom's not involved okay and we've had some very successful clients that way awesome so either direction so just the mom just the dad or both of them together absolutely all are welcome all are welcome excellent Mm -hmm. we have no criteria for our services Everything we do is free to our clientele. And um, we don't screen for anything, Mm -hmm. meaning there's no income qualification, there's no age qualification, there's whoever comes in the door Mm -hmm. and wants to participate or take advantage of the services we have is welcome to do so. That is wonderful, that's such a gift. Tell me some of the lives that were maybe impacted through your guys' services. Well, a couple of stories I can share because they're kind of public and they've shared um, with us. Mm -hmm. But I think the ones that stick in my mind the most that are very public is a young couple that came to us just as very young in their 16-ish. And they very much felt that abortion was their answer. And as they came in and went through our process and got a pregnancy test, and then an ultrasound, dad was there. And it was really the young man that was very much feeling like abortion had to be the answer. And as we talked with him, he began to really share with us um, his own life had not been very great with his own family. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of issues. And the last thing he wanted was his child to experience his parents. And that was a really tough conversation. And he shared a lot with us about Um, his fears and we shared with them the possibilities of the future and that circumstances change and soon their lives would change in just a few years of being adults and being on their own. And we really supported them through that process. They left that day and we weren't sure what they would do and they actually did head to their appointment for an abortion Mm -hmm. and on that drive um, they changed their minds and turned around and came back and we worked with them all the way through, we worked with them. Their advocate went to his graduation. It, we became their family. Yes. And in his story, he talks about that, how we were like a family. And it's just one of the most heartwarming stories. Beautiful little boy that we got to share with others um, at an event. And just one of those stories that you'll never forget of what it means to really walk with people through these difficult life circumstances. Another story of a mom who had uh, several children who were disabled. Mm. 
She just happened to have several children with different disabilities, one at birth, a couple of autistic children, severe, and um, it just felt like there was no way she could take another chance and have another baby and mm -hmm. face another possibly dis disabled child. And we worked with her and went through the whole process with her and she chose life and shared her story as well. And she had a beautiful, healthy baby boy. And he, uh, that was a number of years ago. And, and I do keep in contact with her and she uh, is doing great. And her youngest child is very healthy. And just her faithfulness to trust the Lord in all of that was so incredible to watch. I think sometimes we think we're there helping them, mm -hmm. but honestly, when we get to work with them and watch God work in these circumstances that we aren't sure either what it will look like, yeah. it's, it grows our faith. It grows our relationship with God because we're in the midst of that getting used by Him. Mm -hmm and you you just are so touched by it all so some amazing stories that we've had and of course some of the most amazing i can't share but <laughs> but those are more public ones i can talk about and um it's really amazing to get to be able to be in the mix mix of this and be involved in their life in that way yeah it's so beautiful to be able to come alongside people you know, and no matter where they are in their journey, mm -hmm. right? And just, and to walk with them, mm -hmm. um, I just think that is so powerful. It really is. And I think some of the stories that we can't share that get very difficult. You know, when we get into the stories about women we help or work with or men mm -hmm. who made an abortion decision in their past and they're struggling with that pain and grief and we're walking alongside them in a journey of healing with the help of God. And that's in, just as incredible in many ways. Um, it is challenging work because we also are there when the decision is made that we don't want to be made, you know, the one that we're hoping to give them a way out of. Yeah. And uh, those are challenging for us too, because mm -hmm. we're there, we're wor working with them, we're seeing the baby on ultrasound, we're doing all those things. But also being there on the other side of that and, and working with those who've made tough decisions and are coming in and getting help is very rewarding as well um, to help them find that forgiveness through the Lord. That's super important. Too. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That healing grace, because God, yeah. God wants to heal us. He, he does not want them to walk around in that grief and pain yeah. for years and years and years, as they often do. Right and there is hope and healing, and we want them to know that as well. And so we do that too. Yeah, absolutely, that's yeah. wonderful. So if somebody is looking for help, they're, they're facing an unplanned pregnancy or, or something that's medically challenging right. like you talked about, how do they get a hold of you or, or how do they reach out or learn more about your services? Sure. The easiest way is our website, which is just areupreg.com, the letter R, the letter U, preg.com, or you can spell it out, either way you'll get there. Mm -hmm. And that website has all of our services and um, has a contact form that's confidential that you can submit to ask for help. Uh, or you can call our number, which is 763-689-4319. That's our main number and that will get you wherever you need to be. And um, those are the quickest, easiest ways to reach out sure. and get us. And we're going to um, get right back to you and help you out. That's we're on Facebook as well. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. Um, but really, if someone's looking for services, the best way is the website. Okay. And then I, I believe you guys have telemedicine appointments as well we as in person? We do. Yeah. So that's a newer service since COVID. Um, we needed to really flip services on their head during COVID <laughs> as everyone did. Yeah. And so we did that in a very short time, about three weeks. All of our staff, we had never done telemed. We began online services, including our parenting program. Um, we went to an online parenting uh, video system that was available for uh, pregnancy centers. And all the team just jumped right in. Three weeks, we learned how to do all these techie things. <laughs> and so now our clients can choose or do a hybrid of both. And most choose to do a hybrid of some type where they come in occasionally but do online. 
we thought we'd go away from online eventually. It was, we thought, okay, this will fill this gap. But really what we found was in the age range that we serve the most, mm -hmm. it is exactly where they live and they love it. They don't want it to go away. Sure. They like being able to jump online, do an appointment and come in on occasion and see us in person and get baby items. So yeah. it seems to work really well. And so we're going to keep it. We'll, we'll continue to do telemed. Nice. Mm -hmm. And it does seem like it would be a nice mix, especially when people are busy um, or, or, you know, they need something quick and they don't have time to maybe get all the way out. I think one area that it's really been a great blessing is with our nursing staff. They're able to use a program that's a part of the parenting um, system, but it's the flip side. It's for those in decision making. Mm -hmm. And they're able to get online immediately, have a face-to-face -face through video chat, and also to share videos with them um, and little snippets and information that they may need right away sure. that deals with whatever it is they're facing. And it's very immediate. It goes right to their phone. They just click links. They don't need to do anything or have anything special. And that has really helped tremendously too. Our next step will very likely be a 24 seven nurse chat on our website. And that's what we're working on right now. It's really important we're finding with the things that have changed in Minnesota law around this issue mm -hmm. that they have quick availability yes. to speak with someone. And so we'll be adding that as well. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And so what areas do you serve? I know you guys are located in East Bethel and in Cambridge, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Um, is it mostly that surrounding area or now that yeah. you have telemedicine, are people yeah. from a wider area right. also reaching out? That has happened. Yeah. Um, we serve generally our service areas, Isanti and Anoka County. I mean, there's, um, uh, Anoka County is so large. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of area to serve in Anoka County where we are. Sure. But we do also now, because of telemedicine, have a few clients that are much further away. Okay. And when they need items, we drop ship them to them. Oh, wow. So that's not our goal overall. It's more, you know, we want some of that personal contact whenever possible. Sure. But sometimes people are in an area that there just isn't someone to serve them. If there's a pregnancy center near them, we're going to tell them about it and refer them to it because sure. we really want them to have that personal connection with a center. Yeah. But when that's not possible, Telemedicine is a great option to get them served and to get that connection happening yeah. because it's the long-term ongoing care that gives us that opportunity to share the Lord with them. Mm -hmm. And that's one of our major goals too, is to serve well and also to introduce them to the gospel. So mm -hmm. we get to do both yeah. and we'll take any opportunity, even if it's through video chat. Sure. Yeah. That's <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah. So obviously you guys need some support since everything you offer is for free, right? You need funding and you need people to come yes. along and, and volunteer. Yes. And so tell me about the kind of needs that you have and then how people who feel called to support your organization can do that. Okay. Well, we always have needs. <laughs> I always say there's never enough time or money <laughs> because it's so true in yeah. any type of you know ministry work. Yeah. But they can reach out to us um, on our our donor focused website and on that website they can also listen to on video some of those amazing stories because they're on there and you can watch those amazing stories um, but that's a little different web address cambridgeprc.com and we're looking at changing that because of our lex but right now it's still cambridgeprc.com and they can jump on there there's a giving form right on there. They can choose to sign up for giving, whether it's one time or monthly. They can call us. All of our contact information is on that website. And um, they can call us at that same number, which is 763-689-4319 and talk to somebody. Um, and so financial, of course, but also baby items. Our baby store mm -hmm. is completely stocked by donations. We will go and buy things when we need them sometimes, but most of it is donated through our donors. And that's incredible to us because we have so much to offer. Um, and we have plenty of baby items, you know, because everyone's always bringing more. And that's amazing. We do need that diapers and wipes and all the things that you need for a child. 
And then um, we also need those volunteers. Mm -hmm. So we need a variety of volunteers. We have lots of different areas to volunteer from being a prayer partner and we have a text prayer thing we can do where we can just send it out to everybody at one time and say, hey, just pray about this situation right now. Sure. And that's great when we have a decision-making person in and we can just say, you know, we don't share information. All we're going to say is just pray right now for an abortion-minded client or just pray right now for a client in crisis. God knows the details. Yes. We just want people praying. And then um, we also need advocates who come in and get trained and actually work with clientele. That's a bigger commitment, a lot of training. And then medical personnel who want to help, again, bigger commitment, mm -hmm. lots of training in our center's methods. They're trained professionally, but we're doing professional medical services, so we do need medical professionals who come on board. And then we also just need people who come in and help in the office, help do mailings, um, help with maintenance, help with building projects, you know, all those kinds of things. And so we always are in need of volunteers. Awesome. So we can, I'll put the, the links in the description below and uh, the phone number as well so that you can Great. reach out. And uh, if you're looking for services or if you'd like to help out their organization, you know, please check them out and, and support the pregnancy resource centers in your area. If this is not your area, there's lots of them and they, they often need similar support. So um, if you are considering um, an abortion or if you're in a crisis pregnancy or if you just need some help or some advice, you know, find the Pregnancy Resource Center in your area. You can find them online. They are so helpful and, and they truly want to walk with you and support you and answer your questions and wh wherever you're at in your journey. Um, if you have had an abortion and, and you would like assistance, healing, help, um, there is help available and we want to support you in that as well. So I'll put a link to that also in the description where you can find those services. And uh, if, you, if you are struggling or if you have questions, um, I hope that you'll reach out. And if, you, if there's those in your life that, that you know need help, you know, this is a great opportunity to walk with them and to direct them to, to the resources that are out there. So please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you.